okay. It's not okay though, it's not. You know, on Roblox. You know, Sam was on Roblox yesterday. And a f***ing thing popped up. And he started laughing. And I was like, Mommy, look. And it was a picture of my cry face. And it was a game that someone made of Roblox. And it said, Kim's new sex tape. When you clicked on it, thank God he can't read yet. And it's like, over my dead body, is this shit gonna happen to me again? I just want it gone. The fact of the matter is Kanye West and Ray J would have had no problem to continue to give away the culture as long as it kept benefiting him. If you're on the internet or social media anywhere, then you know Ray J just blew up the Kardashian spot, exposing them for the liars, fraud, and scammers that we all know that they are. It's your girl Sandra. Welcome back to the channel. We're not even gonna waste no time. We're gonna get right into it. So, like I said, Ray J just took to Instagram and went live to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth about the Kardashians, what they've been doing to him, and how it's impacted him, his career, his family, his mental health, and everything else. And I'm and I'm looking at somebody, mama lying and just really just laughing at niggas like you're gonna try to crush my career make me look stupid when you know you was the mastermind and then go out to dinner later and eat eat with your rich friends huh and just say well we fucked him over again <laughs> we always fucking ray over thought like you got me fucked up y'all sued steve hurst that's a lie five million dollars you never got five million you can't print those documents up they don't exist you never got no money from steve you got four hundred thousand just like i got four hundred thousand we signed the contract the same day you got the same contract i got except guess what you rushed me to sign the contract because your mama was rushing me to sign it so guess what you did you signed my deliverables in your in your handwriting right because you was rushing me so you signed my deliverables Kim Kardashian got her handwriting and her fingerprints all over my contract. When you look at the two, when you look at my signature and you look at her signature on my deliverables, that shit say sex tape number one, sex tape number two, and guess what? The third sex tape or the second they've been trying to play me on, that shit called Santa Barbara sex. Her mama made us go shoot it for safety. She watched the motherfucker and said, hey, we're going to go with the first one because the first one is better. It gives my daughter a better look than the second one that I made y'all go do. But you watched it and made a decision. And then you get on whatever show you was on and take a lie detector test with a fraud. Did you help Kim release her sex tape? It's okay. No. No. True. Of course it's true. Thank you. Of course it's true. That like we like John Rogan. Google Rogan. what his name? Rogan. Ro Grogan. John Grogan. Google John John Grogan. Right now. But look what look what pops up. First thing that pops up is how to beat the lie detector test. This nigga's a fraud. He don't even have a fucking license. He using somebody else's license. So they think they could just run that play. Everybody say, oh, it's over with, and then they move on with their life and keep shitting on people. Not no more, dog. I'm telling this. So when my kids grow up, they know the truth. Like when we was young and y'all manipulated us to do the shit, I take full responsibility for the act. I was lit. We made a fucking lot of money. I get it. But we, we together, like. So as we know, Ray J and Kim Kardashian, they dated. Yeah, everybody knows that. And that's how Kim Kardashian even got her come up. Let's be real. She got her come up for Ray J, who is Brandy's sister. I'm sorry. <laughs> Brandy's brother, my bad. <laughs> Brandy's brother, my bad. So, allegedly, Ray J is alleging, but he got real tangible receipts to prove that not only did Kim Kardashian agree to do this, the tape that made her famous, um, not only did she know about it, her mother knew about it, but Chris, okay, a pimp by any other name, Kardashian Jenner, Chris Kardashian Jenner, okay, orchestrated the whole thing, set it up, released it, and then tried to defraud him and ruin his name in Hollywood and claim that Ray J was the one that released the tape without their authority. So Kanye flew home last night. And he came back this morning. I want to show you guys what he got me. He did gorgeous Oh my god. 
the person that they had the contract with has been vocal about the tape. Ultimately, we were able to have a conversation with Kim after much back and forth and, and lots of legal stuff going on. But ultimately, she agreed to allow us to put out the tape. We paid her several million dollars. It was an amazing investment for us. And I think it worked out pretty good for her as well. Um, but ultimately, yes, we need to get an agreement. I think what you see the back and forth in the press is what happens prior to that. Well, the interesting thing about celebrity sex tapes is that when you, when you sort of talk to the outside, you know, uh, population, it almost seems like it's presented as this tape leaked and I had no idea how it happened and it's out there and I'm not making any money off of it and so forth. But the reality is, you know, from what I know about the, the porn industry is that you can't legally put out anything like that, any sort of, you know, pornography without having everyone sign off, without having licenses, you know, driver's license identification mm -hmm. and, you know, a bunch of different contracts that means that everyone's actually involved. Well, you know, celebrity sex tapes, they come in all different shapes and sizes, and they make their way to our office in many different ways. Kardashian is a household name, but at the time, she was virtually unknown, outside of, you know, like the Los Angeles circles. Why pay that type of money for an essentially unknown person? Well, a couple things. First of all, Kim was not unknown. She came from a very famous family. Her father represented OJ. Her best friend was Paris Hilton. Her stepfather was Bruce Jenner. I mean, okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, there, there, was, there was a lot there for us to work with. But it wasn't until there was so much back and forth that this thing was like gaining steam. By the time we ultimately made the deal with Kim, she was a household name before the movie even came out because there was so much back and forth legally. Interesting, so the actual process of trying to put it out made her really a star. <laughs> really enhanced it. No, I think what made Kim a star, and I'd like to take all the credit for it, but I don't think I can, and, and clearly the, the, the movie was, was a part of it, but it was the team that she surrounded herself with after. It was the, the marketing people, um, the, all, all of the people, the, her manager, her agents, all of those people were the ones who put together uh, a, a plan that made Kim who she, who she is today. So you're not surprised as to the, the level she got to? I mean, I, I, surprised in, in the way that, I mean, how unusual is it that somebody like that could be that big of a star? I mean, she is a major, 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 massive star, celebrity, no doubt about it. But, um, uh, you know, she had a great look, she was unique, and I think she did a great job marketing herself. The television show came soon after the movie, and I think that really helped to, to catapult her. Ray J is alleging that not only did Kim Kardashian know about the tape's release and potential power and what it could do, she actually agreed to it, signed the contract, and Chris Kardashian Jenner knew about the tape also and orchestrated the whole thing, even gotten them in a condo and allegedly makeup artist, okay, to make her daughter look pretty while she sat in the other room as her daughter and her then boyfriend Ray J was getting it on and putting it together so that they could release the tape and then turn around to try to fraud Ray J and scam Ray J and say no, they never authorized it. Basically, Ray J released the tape without their consent and tried to ruin his career, went behind his back and telling people don't work with him and he lost a lot of opportunities. He he said that he was even at one point you know thinking about taking his own life because he was feeling so bad and like such a terrible person at the time ray j is also claiming that our good man kim card <laughs> kim kardashian mr kardashian okay kanye west actually knew about the whole thing and played a key role in helping the kardashians to continue to defame him continue to drag his name through the mud and continue to throw dirt on his name like he was a nobody loser looking for a 15 minute of fame and he was mad kim was no longer with him and he's actually uh sexual offender which carries a long-term prison sentence they told Kanye to also get 
contracts from him. So they were trying to make sure that he wouldn't have anything that proved that they really agreed to this together. Old sex tape. The last thing that I want as a mom is for my past to be brought up 20 years later. This is some real embarrassing shit and I need to deal with it. And I will deal with it. I just cannot believe this is happening right now. And what actually triggered him is, one, I guess they just got, the Kardashians just got a contract with Hulu. I'm just going to give you a background on what's going on and then I'm going to tell you my opinions on what's happening, okay? So pretty much the Kardashians got um, a new show coming out on Hulu because apparently their show on E! was canceled. So they got a new contract with Hulu and they're trying to come up with new content. And they're using the same alleged sex tape release s tape release um to kind of try to get more promotion more, more publicity try to get more eyes on their show and rage is like one i've never leaked anything two you guys have always been in possession of the tapes so why are you guys coming back and saying that there's another tape i'm planning to release something that is not in my possession apparently kim kardashian kept the tapes under her bed somewhere in a shoebox. So I think Ray just like, I'm sure she has bigger beds by now, you know, to hide her safe shit, probably in a safe, right? What was in the suitcase, um, Ray just says, <laughs> what he gave them was apparently uh, over the years, you know, to keep him quiet. And you know, as women, if you're a woman, you know, she was using her feminine side, her fem feminine wilds to keep him calm as long as he was on her good side. I mean, she was on his good side. He would have never talked about this tape, which is what he was. She was using her body to do. And then when Kanye shows up on the show, um, saying she asked Kanye, like, "Oh, how much did you have to pay for this?" Kanye said, "I will never let them extort us. I didn't have to pay anything. I'll never let them extort us again." So on the show, it's coming across of Ray J is really trying to extort him, and that's where Ray J is mad at Kanye. Like, honestly. I understand Ray J, okay? He has every right to sue. He has every right to do what he do. He has every right to get them and get them for all they got because that's what they did to other people. But I'm not gonna feel too bad for Ray J. Like I said, he has the right to sue. I hope he drags them for, for Phil. I hope he is the one to bring this family down because I don't think we wanna understand how evil and conniving this family truly is. However, we gotta start holding these men accountable. You guys had no problem giving away the culture after the way they treated you, right? You guys still was willing to give them the culture as long as they was ready to get back with you, right? And I'm sure during the whole time when Kanye was still trying to get Kim back because, you know, he lost his mother, that was his world. Um, he never really grieved. He wanted a family. He got with Kim. He actually believed this man wanted to save his marriage. And behind the scenes, Kim Kardashian was giving him the hopes that they could get back together. But after he realized she's playing games, after he realized she's just running game on him, and he, you know, she's not trying to get back together. She's just do the, doing the same thing that she did with Ray J to keep him appeased, okay, keep him calm, and then he won't talk. Do the same thing to Kanye so that he continue to help her with her fashion. Because as we know, this girl, not only is she boring, she's corny with a capital corn, has no sense of style. Literally, you guys literally took a talentless, high paid, professional worker you know and put her in the public eye and now she got hyped thinking you know i could do this on my own i don't need kanye and try to make him look i have a video about this like i said try to make him look like he's the devil he's this is that is that and third but guess what when you were with him you felt safe safe enough to have four children with him safe enough for him to put you in these rooms that you wanted to be in that you could have never gotten on your own but now that you're ready to discard him He's a scary black man that's trying to, you know, stalking me and my family. Where does personal accountability come in for Kanye and, and, and Ray J and all the other black men who continue to be seduced by colorism and racism when they claim to be woke, when they claim to be pro-black, but their patterns and details continue to show that they do not like black women they do not value black women they do not want to be with black women now 
Let's take a pause here because I don't want y'all to feel like black women are not wanted or whatever. Because I know we're desired, the most desired. Don't let society fool you. Don't don't let society fool you into thinking these other groups of women are it. It's not true. And I'm not saying that because I'm a black woman. I know black women are valued and desired. That's why all these women, they go and buy our features. They go and buy, try to buy the men and put up with both BS men that we would never put up with, right? But let's get into the patterns. The pattern of Kanye West has Yeezy, she, he married Kim Kardashian, right? Um, now, who's the other girl? Chenny, Ch Chenny, whatever, right? Who is he trying to make the face of Yeezy? The, the Claremont twins? Two black women who are no longer melanated, right? And, and, and plumped up with plastic surgery. Um, now, he's going to be petty as far as getting Jordan Woods and her little sister. I'm not going to post her little sister because she's still a minor. Making them the face of Yeezy. Miss Donda West. I watched it come. The <clears throat> I watched the genius... Um, what do you call it? Documentary, right? I watched that documentary. Miss Donda West was the single most influential person in Kanye West's life. Giving him the structure, the need that he needed, elevating him to the highest highs while keeping him grounded. You know, after she sadly passed, he needed that. So he wanted a family. I understand that. However, let's be real. The very women that look like Miss Donda West, there is no such representation when it comes to Kanye West and the women that he chose to put in the public eye, the women whose careers he could literally catapult, the women that deserve it the most, the women that made a Kanye West really think about it somebody at the level of Kanye who's so talented if he had taken a black woman to put her face out there in spaces where black women specifically are stigmatized and marginalized right if he had to and I'm not talking about mixed women I'm talking about heavily melanated dark-skinned women Okay, patterns and details. The pattern is that he only dates a certain women. The details is they have to be a certain color, right? So, somebody like Kanye, at the level that he is, imagine if he took a black woman to elevate her to the status that he put the Kardashians, it would have been a whole different story. Think about it. The world would be completely different. They do not value they don't value them. Look at Ray J. Who was he with? Princess. Kim Kardashian. Huh? Come on, patterns and details. They all matter. Okay? So at some point, these men have to take their accountability. And all these black men who go chasing light-skinned women and think that, you know, they're making themselves more valuable. They're asserting themselves by getting with women who are more willing to put up with their BS because they refuse to grow up. Of course, again, like I said, I'm not talking about most black men, but let's keep it a buck. So for all these black men who want to go into these families and they're being called the N-word <laughs> behind their back or in their front or accept and tolerate, not just black men, but black women as well, let's be real, because we know there's a lot of coons and coonettes out here. So for you, those people who want to continue to deal with that, deal with it. Like I said, I'm rooting for them to win because at the end of the day, I'm always I'm I'm rooting for everybody black. But we're not coming we're not coming to fight your battle for you because the truth is the reality is you had no problem giving away the culture when it benefited you. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Bye. <laughs>